Recount Thursday is sponsored by Arena Eats. Log on to the website, arenaeats.app, that's arenaeats.app, for the ultimate fan experience. At your favorite sports venue, Arena Eats mobile app, pre-order, express pickup, and in-seat delivery. How do you place your order? I think this is going to be a really fun um, segment. We've kind of been dancing around it uh, a, a bit as the night goes on. Um, but, I, but I even threw it out on our social media. Um, I think it was yesterday. And it, uh, it has to do with, with what ifs. And what are some of the biggest what ifs in WWE, WWF history? Is there um is there anybody that wants to kick us off to uh to 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 start the list here? Yes, Ryan. I, I have three, so I can give one. Okay. What's your first? <laughs> oh shoot, I wasn't ready for that. Hit me again. <laughs> Chris Jericho never left to go to Japan. Oh. Ooh. From uh, the Stone Cold Sessions, uh, do we have an AEW? Is there enough star power with the Rhodes and the Bucks and not Chris Jericho for Tony Khan to pull the trigger with AEW? That is an excellent question. Man. I feel like I hit fucking dingers with my what ifs. That's that's a strong one uh, to come out of the gate. Especially Um, with the current landscape. Yeah. Wow! So if he just stayed in WWE, in and, WWE made lists. You know, if, yeah, he just uh, you just made the list. You know, if he just kept doing that and did something, you know, every so often did something new. Wow! I mean, I, the, the dominoes of all of that. Do we ever see NXT even on USA to combat Dynamite? I mean, there it it it, it opens a whole forbidden door. So what I think it does is it just like delays things. It, it it like pushes it back. I would say like the Bucks and Cody and whatever extend for another year and really try to like because you also have to think Mox. Mox's contract still comes up. Okay. Yeah. The year later. What does that do to Ring of Honor though? I mean, Cody. I mean, ROH with another year. Right. Like, what does that really do to what does Japan look like with the Bucks and Cody doing double shots back and forth? And Kenny and like, it's. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's wild. I mean, it's still a good time in the Indies, but. Sure I mean, is. Mox, Mox, you know, because I, again, I, I think the importance of Chris Jericho as your first champion in AEW cannot be. You know, we, we can crack jokes about the bloated corpse and all that, but the, having him as your first champion, I, I think, is is a big part um, to, to AEW's success. So, like, you know, yeah, maybe whether it starts when they did or not, but, you know, if, if Mox comes in and, and, you know, comes off the, the Shield's farewell, which was, I think, um, like, th- what, three years ago yesterday, um, you know, if he comes in and he's your first champion – no, I, I think you may end up at the same spot, but yeah, I think like Tim said, I think you might be a bit uh, delayed in that. Any other any other thoughts on that? That's a good that's a good one to to, to start us off, Ryan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Barry Horowitz, who wants to go next? Well, if it's just all right, Matt, what do you got? No, I was I was saying it was just all right. I was saying all right, like. Ryan can stop patting himself on the back. <laughs> right. oh. What if Sasha Banks never got into wrestling? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You don't sound like that. That's not wow. what you sound like. That was a really bad impression. Jeez. I, I should have done better. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. Wow. I expect more out of your impressions than me. <laughs> Moving forward. That's fair. That's fair. That would be my notes. Um, what if Sasha Banks never got involved in wrestling? <laughs> Um, no, um, mine was going to be 
what if mankind never takes the toss off the top of the cell? Mm. Do we get like as into the hardcore scene as we did following that if he just kind of has the generic match other spots are made but nothing that extreme because that was kind of the birth of a lot of extreme wrestling beyond that do we you know we probably still see it on the indies but does it become as commonplace as it then was during the the time of the tlc matches yeah i don't excellent question too yeah i don't i don't know if we do because like that you know I, I don't know if WWA, WWE would have made that turn if you you don't see a guy thrown off a cage and thrown down through the cage and what's probably the 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 as hard as it is to believe the the sicker bump of that <laughs> of that show, um, you know, and when it's somebody as high profile as the Undertaker in that spot too, like I mean, obviously it's a huge part of its mankind because you have to be crazy enough to throw me off the top of the cage but um yeah i mean with the with whew, we might not and do we get was the was, that really even ushered the era of attitude as well like there was so many was the hardcore title wasn't fell. a thing yet right what the hardcore mm-hmm. title came after that be, i just i literally just looked it up because i thought that matt might have been off on dates but he's not i don't know if we get the so hardcore the, title the hardcore title comes out in November of the same year. Probably a, a reaction wow. to that. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's crazy to think. Like, I was like, no. I mean, I, he... I feel like Shane eventually takes a bump off of something stupid, but by then it's too late. Here comes the money. Actually, Shane would never do it. I mean, somebody would have to do it first for Shane to be like, I'm right. What, why does he, right. why would he get involved and do those do things right. if it wasn't for that? The craziest thing that had happened to that point was Shawn Michaels falling halfway off the cell in 97 through the table. Yeah. And when was the, I don't know if you all were, I think you mom, you all were watching at this point when Hawk from the Legion of Doom. Oh, from the top of the Tron. Tron? Yes. Oof. Oh, that was awful. When was that? Um, I feel like because that was that was LOD 2000. So that would have at least been 1998. Nice. And because that was WrestleMania 14, that they debuted. I don't think anybody looks at that like the same style bump though. I'm assuming there was a crash pad. But it's still but it's still like the craziest like you have okay, to think I about uh, I th- I think it's a November of 98. Okay, so that's right around the time of the hardcore title. Yeah, so, so you, after. Wow. So I think those sort of things were re, you know, a a reaction to what uh what Foley did. So yeah, maybe, you know, that's a that's another good one, Matt. Matt, I actually had put down um, in the who would come back as my honorable mention. I had Cactus Jack to wrestle somebody like a John Moxley in a deathmatch hardcore style match today um, that we could actually see it done properly. Uh, Chainsaw Charlie as well, or just just no, just, no, just Cactus Jack, <laughs> just Cactus. I mean, uh, even Mankind and, and that incarnation of Mankind when he wrestled would have been fine, but you know, also a like character that the the forgotten treasures or buried treasures or whatever the a and E that that was a great watch as well, um, with with Foley this past week and and I think I don't know how many episodes of that are coming, but uh, A and E and WWE are hitting it out of the park on Sunday nights. What were sure. they searching for with Mick Foley? His tooth? Or... <laughs> uh, part of his ear. Was, uh... <laughs> During the what Austin was... documentary, my wife goes, "Does he not have an ear?" And I was like, "No, no, no ear ripped off." <laughs> She's pretty you, grossed out. You can just say ripped off like it's not. I ripped off. Yeah, it's ripped off. <laughs> did you not watch it, Ryan? I didn't. No. Oh, so, dude. So they so they looked for the original Cactus Jack flannel. Oh wow. They looked for the original Mankind shirt. Okay. And they looked for an original Mr. Sacco. Oh wow. Yeah, that was uh, that was a fun watch for sure. Who did they say was next week? Um, 
shit who did they say i forget i that was like four days ago tim i, I can't be expected <sighs> to remember know. these That's things um mark do you get that on your super box I I did it was in French but I watched it anyway. We <laughs> we oui, oui. <laughs> Um Mark or Tim a million. Do you guys want to want to hit a in French? Hit a what if next? Uh, do you want me to I'll I'll uh, I'll give you a what if. What if Mark went back to having cable? <laughs> no, I'm kidding that's never going to happen. Uh, what if uh Eric Bischoff's group we're able to buy WCW. Oh, now, wouldn't that be something? Because they had a deal on the table. They had a deal, and and every from what Bischoff says, it was a done deal. I guess it wasn't quite signed, obviously, but it was ninety nine percent done. And Vince came in and and stole it. Well, maybe not stole it, but Mark that deal obviously. That was on my list as one of my three. I worded it as. What if the WCW deal stayed on TNT? Because I think that's why Bischoff pulled mm-hmm. out was that it didn't have a TV deal attached to it anymore. He was, was still just buying. Yep. He, he was, was just still buying like right, right. He was just buying the library and the rings and shit. Yeah. Um, but at that price, it wasn't yeah. worth it. Yeah, but yeah, the that price changes, that like changes you, everything. You guys recall what the actual price tag was that WWF bought WCW for, right? It was like pennies on the dollar of what yeah, Eric was going to buy it, it was for. Two point five million dollars for everything. Unreal. That's crazy. That that's un fucking real. Like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, yo, I got maybe like six, seven grand in the bank right now. I want WCW. Who do I need to saddle up with to get two point five million? You're just you're a couple scratches away. I am. Yeah, yeah, you were. Seven just take seven Scratchy. grand. Just take seven grand to the local seven eleven and like put, all the scratches. Put all of your scratches. <laughs> yeah, you and, and then own, whatever you win there, it. take it to the casino, put it on red. And then lose and cry. Real real loud. Just and whatever you win there. My WCW money. No. <laughs> I want you to take that. Double zero. Sorry. Oh. You take that money, cut it in half, and double it. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's all you got to do. But yeah, I would have loved that, if WCW didn't get sold to, w- to WWF. And man, who the war could have continued? I mean, who knows what could have happened? So okay, just because I'm not aware of of the time. So like the obviously the end of WCW was not great with greed and all of the oh, crappy pay-per-views so and the crappy tv but at that point they they knew they knew the doors were shutting right is that why it, it got that they bad didn't, they didn't know until like because okay so the last ww wcw pay-per-view was was it greed or was it sin it was greed or sin uh it was sin then remember. greed greed was the final one when was okay. New Blood Rising? Because that was trash too. New Blood oh, Rising sucks. Was, was in two thousand. Yeah, it was the year the year so, before. So greed, I think people had an idea then. Now, mind you, that was March eighteenth, two thousand and one. Okay. WCW gets bought. The Monday leading into WrestleMania. Okay. And WrestleMania was April first. Because my my question is to to the to the point of if if that 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 deal doesn't happen, WWE doesn't buy them. Like, is is WCW even viable competition at that point, or were they already on the down low, like the downturn enough that it? it wouldn't have mattered. Like, would they have been sustainable if they would have came back? I mean, I guess because if Bischoff would have still been in charge, he would have been able to do the things he wanted to do possibly. But was WCW sustainable or would it have just been another year or so and Vince would have been able to sweep them up anyway? That's a great point. Was the damage done? Yeah, I think. Like, depending on where the time, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, when, when the timelines were, like, so they don't get sold. WWE Russo just did a ton of damage on his way out. The new, oh, new NWO, terrible. What was it? The NWO Black and Silver. It or, was, or yeah, is yeah. it is it a situation? And and again, this isn't 
Because, has, you know, Impact Wrestling TNA has been around longer than WCW was around for. Is it a situation like them where it's like they're not – they're never going to be in competition anymore. Like, they're, they're, they're not – they're not a threat to WWE, but like WCW was still going to be there. Is it, is it that sort of a situation? Maybe like, I just don't know if, if, if WCW so, was a competition then Russo was out of WCW in October Bro. of 2000. So after that time, I think Bischoff comes back to try to like sweep up the pieces and say what you want sin or greed was it greed the last pay-per-view was actually really good i thought i thought that greed the the final wcw pay-per-view was was pretty dang solid and we we get to that point where could they have pu- pulled it up? Yeah. Here's why you could pull it up. Because shortly after WCW sells, TNA appears. True. Okay. And, and TNA is doing weekly pay-per-views. They don't even have a TV deal. Like, Bischoff could have figured out what he was going to do. And, like, I think it was just a matter of time before Bischoff gets the leg to stand on and turns it around. But even then, like the WCW, like there's, there's so many dominoes after that. Cause if impact, if WCW never gets sold, does impact, impact TV, does TNA even a thing? Yeah. But yeah, possibly not. I mean, so no, yeah. never. Yeah. Because Jared's still under contract with WCW. Well, that's Jared's, true. Yeah, there's a lot of guys that still were like, uh, yeah, like Scott Steiner, DDP. I'm just looking at the. I'm looking at the last batch, the last pay per view. Steiner, DDP, Dustin Rhodes, Ric Flair, Jeff Jarrett, Booker T, Rick Steiner, The Cat, Canyon, that had the Natural Born Thrillers. Okay, the, the WCW is not beating WWE with The Cat and Chris Canyon. But Who better than Canyon. But they or, or the natural they born could, thrillers or Team Canada. But the natural born thrillers. Goldberg had, is gone by then. He he was gone at sin. Right. But the natural born thrillers are like the next crop of never before seen studs. Stasiak, O'Hare. Not St- well, Stasiak Palumbo, was okay. right? Palumbo, O'Hare. Wait, you have a strong undercard. You just you're not Jindrak. sustainable with a strong undercard. The Young Dragons and Three Count, Great Feud. You're not buying that. That's not why you're buying a pay per view. They, uh, I don't think they're they, top heavy enough. Jeff Jarrett's not going to do it. You still had Rey Mysterio had fucking at the road, time. Road, the real, road, real world animal in it. <laughs> they <laughs> they did the, have uh, real world animal. That's true. I, I gotta love him. The, the, the cruiserweight division was incredible. They, I think, it was at that pay per view they debuted the cruiserweight tag team titles, which lasted about a week. Yeah, because the because the company closes, and that was the end of the cruiserweight tag titles. Like anyway, AJ Styles was AJ Styles was under WCW contract when they got sold. That yeah, so like I, I just I, I just don't know. I, I think WCW at that point may have been kind of what TNA Impact is now, where it's it's there, it, it survives. I just I don't know if it's. I think the damage may have been done, but uh, I mean that, that that's another another uh a great one tim did you give one yet do you want to i did not give one yet and i think my biggest what if if? you're welcome (laughs) uh for everything would have been and this goes along the lines of a previous conversation but like what was your was your actual what if ryan what if austin didn't get hurt my actual what is uh, was uh, what if Chris Jericho said no to no, going not, to not that one, but when we were talking about Austin, uh, I was Owen Hart said no to the Blue Blazer. Okay, so mine is what if Austin never got hurt at SummerSlam '97? Okay, yeah, I had this one on my list. It wasn't my 
actual one that I'll give. Yeah, because if he doesn't break his neck, the Austin style, because you have to think, up until he breaks his neck, Austin is this weird hybrid of a brawling machine and a bump god. Yeah. So a he's master of the ring, you could say. Yeah. Like he's literally. That doesn't doing, sound right, Ryan. He's doing two different <laughs> styles extremely well. And he breaks his neck with with Owen. And after that, you take all those bumps away. Stomp a all mud the hole. Craziness. Um, you know, fist of fury and a stunner. <laughs> I think. He he now Austin rode that brawling style for as long as he could. Absolutely. Knowing that body was given out on him. Absolutely. But did a great job at becoming something new when he came back with what he had to do. Yeah. I mean, and you also have to think too, like with all of the injuries, like we don't have Austin getting hit by a car in 99. Ooh. You don't get, you probably, you probably don't even get the, Austin taking his ball and going home in 2002 because Austin at that point is still on the uptick, right? You're not going to feed a more healthy stone cold, Steve Austin to Brock Lesnar in the first round of the 2002 King of the ring. Are you no, like that spot immediately goes to somebody else. Well, and, and do you even get like the, um, you know, some of the great, you know, bet you think of like the backstage segment when he's playing the guitar, singing to McMahon, and you get Kurt Angle mm-hmm. singing Jimmy Crack Corn. Like, there's some great Austin moments that came because of his injury, and he was either not working on, you know, not wrestling on Monday Night Raw, but he's still on there because he's Austin, or he's he's post WrestleMania 19, but still around and doing things that. You yeah. you you might not that you may not get because you know they they were they were using him but not able to use him in the ring as much, right? Yeah, I mean that's that's literally like my my like number one what if aside from like what if WCW never sold? Sure. <laughs> Recount Thursday is sponsored by Arena Eats. Log on to the website arenaeats.app, that's arenaeats.app, for the ultimate fan experience. At your favorite sports venue, Arena Eats mobile app, pre order, express pickup, and in seat delivery. How do you place your order? Sure, mine, um, and, and I think a lot of some of the, you know some of the things that we we talked about before the break some of the things we talked about now but my big is is if the curtain call didn't happen now whether it's Hall and Nash don't even go to WCW or they go and they just don't get they they just don't do the curtain call at MSG because you know if 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 we believe the history that we're told and Triple H is supposed to win the King of the Ring in 1996. But because of the curtain call, can't punish Hall, can't punish Nash, can't punish HBK because he's at the top, Triple H becomes the fall guy. So if you don't if you don't have the curtain call, you don't get Austin winning the King of the Ring. So you don't get Austin 316. So you don't possibly get the Rock Austin feud. You don't get Austin McMahon. You don't all of those dominoes that fell because Austin three sixteen says I just whooped your ass. What 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 had like I know Triple H ended up winning King of the Ring later on and rebuilt his career. Obviously a long career, but also it, during that time, you know, some of those things were, you know. Because you had feuds with Austin, you maybe, you know, he helped pull everybody up because of Austin 316. So I, I, if the curtain call doesn't happen, 
And then also, like, too, if the curtain call doesn't happen, is and, – and, and, I mean, I was young, really young at the time, 11 years old. But is Hall and Nash showing up in WCW as big of a deal? Is, is you know, is the fallout from that on the other side – as big of a deal how much how much impact did that have on them going to wcw right like i'm not gonna sit here because i'm i used to be in the camp where triple h was punished because of the curtain call i used to believe that until like i really looked at it and like it's a heck of a punishment to be like intercontinental champion in October after the like tri- triple H is his match with ultimate warrior takes place before the curtain call. He's in a program with Mark Marrow shortly thereafter feuding around the intercontinental championship in October. He's intercontinental champion throughout until 1997 And then he's in DX. Like DX starts, DX kind of put pieces it together in like what they, uh, middle of 96 or middle of 97, where they like piece it together around the King of the Ring, where Triple H wins. But like, but the curtain call, if, if, if Razor and Diesel never leave, like that's, that's a really good, or, even like if one of them, if one of them doesn't leave because the impact that's made is it's hall and then Nash in a month. Okay. Right. If WWE signs one of them, if WWE resigns one of them, it's nothing. Game changer. Big nothing. You could you could also think like what if Sean jumped to? Oh. Because there was the there was always the talks of like does Sean eventually jump? Because well, there, somebody on Twitter had responded to this. What if yeah. what if Sean left for WCW instead of Brett? Because there was just as many conversations as there were about Sting leaving WCW and going to WWF even going back as far as like 1990 Mm -hmm. with sting sean was about the same and sean was like nah i'm staying here i'm staying here i'm gonna be the guy i'm gonna be the guy i'm gonna be the guy sean would have got lost in wcw Mm -hmm. lost sure because he would have (laughs) been he would have been the littlest fish the littlest fish yeah he would have been sean waltman of dx he could have been six to be completely with Hogan. You're Hall, not wrong. And you're, no, you're not wrong. Yeah. It's just like, wild to think about. Shawn Michaels in WCW at that time with Macho Man and Sting and Luger and Flair, like, like all of these other guys that you would in 96 at that time. Sure. You would probably put over Shawn. Who the hell is this? I mean, the point is, I think Sean saw that writing on the wall and yeah, was, I and can't. Was like, I can't go there. Right. Uh, I want to I want to look, look at a couple of the ones that uh, responses here on our social media and in, in, in the chat as well. Uh, Charlie had said, what if Brett uh, agreed to Vince's pay cut? Uh, that kind of goes hand in hand with, with some of the things we talked about. When they um, got concussed by Goldberg. <laughs> that's true. Um, what if, uh, Hulk Hogan never went to WWF, I guess back, uh, initially when he was what Minnesota, right? AWA. When he yeah. started in AWA. I mean, are we even here? <laughs> you yeah. know, are we yeah. even talking about wrestling right now? Um, if it, if it wasn't for Hogan at that point, um, let me you imagine our AWA podcast. Oof. <laughs> Brutal. Talking about the good old days of Nick Bockwinkle. Right. Uh, Devin had said, what if Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero never pass away? Well, everybody dies. Well, I mean... Obviously. I don't know how to tell you this, Devin, but eventually everybody <laughs> will. Uh, um, 
but but were, when it, they did, it. right? I mean, if it wasn't anybody but Devin, I wouldn't have made a comment. That's <laughs> that's a hundred percent true. The facts of life, bud. Um, Charlie also says, "What if Austin called an audible and stunned Vince at the end of Mania 17? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think Austin still lost in. What I was mean, that last one? What if Karrion Cross never wrestled? Is that what he said? <laughs> I'm so much. Karrion Cross directly related to the COVID 19 pandemic. It came around the same time. <laughs> Boy, I'm not going to put that on camera. Oof, bad TikTok. Juju. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's a huge what if, too. Right. What if, if COVID it, never happened? Jesus. Um, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah wrestling is different yeah a lot different right. you know I, do we get the head of the table i still don't know if we i, I still don't think we do if do roman get, doesn't go I, away I feel like we get a stinker of a undertaker match for his last match yeah i don't think undertaker aj is boneyard level that's for sure do we get the same level of cuts that we've had yes AEW you think so? They'll be gigging themselves all night long. <laughs> um, just Cody. Uh, I mean, probably. I feel. I mean, look, they can use budget cuts as the lame excuse, but uh, <laughs> um, I, I think I think the the people that were released were probably going to be released anyway. I feel like. I mean, we had it in the in the on this day segment. Releases happened this time of year in the WrestleMania fallout. Um, what if ECW found a home after leaving TNN? Uh, a good one there. Um, yeah, that could be. Jason says, what if Tony Khan's dad would have cut him off when he asked for wrestling stardom? Money? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Um, That's a good one. Also, Jason, if you're still with us, um, the, the Triple H tweet that the firing had to do with uh, like Mickey James and I guess some others um, belongings from the WWE being sent in a trash bag in a box. Uh, and the person that, that did that was uh, was let go uh, today. So um, here's, here's a solid one. I hope that's like Kevin Dunn's other job. <laughs> that yeah. would, wouldn't that be nice? Get some. Right. I hope it's the, the whoever, whether it is Kevin Dunn or some other idiot that thinks uh, forty seven camera cuts in about uh, you know thirty two seconds is a good plan. But what's yours, Tim? Um, it's not wrestling related, but it's like wrestling adjacent. <laughs> what if Conrad Thompson never gets involved with the Flair family? Jesus. Well, I don't have to I hear. I wouldn't have Pandora. to hear a Blue Chew commercial. I wouldn't know what Blue Chew was. Or but her, like, or Sassafras. But also, like, because of because of Conrad, wrestling podcasts blow up to a level never seen before. We were here first. Don't be rude. It's very true. They <laughs> don't be rude. Conrad, Conrad stole our spot. <laughs> but he gets Bruce Pritchard talking about wrestling, and it back he at gets, WWE. He gets. Tony Schiavone back into wrestling. Yeah, he's not the he's not one of the three play by play guys on AEW Dynamite each week. Yeah, three, four, five person desk. <laughs> right. I and mean, like, that, dude, that's a good point. He's 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 a straw that stirs the drink. He Starcast. Yeah, Starcast yeah. is a big reason why that those like first AEW pay per views kind of blast off that's a good point that's not aew's doing that's true because there's that's a there's kind. a buzz about them you know like because what the first star cast was at all out right which wasn't even an aew show i i do all in all in sorry yeah yeah in out same difference i'm, I'm in, done out, either up, I, down, i'm done either up, way <laughs> does that even affect the undertaker's boneyard match I mean, Connie had him on the hook for StarCast, and Vince said, hold on. Yeah, that's that's a good one, Tim. That's a great point. Like, once you start the what if, the way some of these fall. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. <laughs> yeah, um, that's a good one. Um, another one yeah. I, I had written down. Um, 
is what if Rocky Maivia didn't become the Rock in Nation of Domination? What if they didn't stir, to, uh, steer into the skid with the die, Rocky die? Right. And- like, what if they just went, yeah, okay, this if- isn't working, and they either let him go or they, you know, he he becomes some other goofy character in that was 90. 90- I think we get, uh, do you smell what D'Lo's cooking? <laughs> and everything will be fine. You know what I mean? Like, like what if the, the what fans if they just, could have embraced Rocky? What if, but what if, like, with that, instead of trying to repackage the Rock, they're just like, he's he's nothing now. Right. What if he's in that he that list of releases in? Yeah. You know, April like, of ninety eight or whatever. He's because he wasn't like he wasn't phenomenal until like really the Nation of Domination, right? He doesn't become who we see him as. We don't get was it the Tooth Fairy if uh if he if no, they don't fairy, if no, they don't steer into that sk- Matt, have you seen that movie race- by the way? I have not. Okay. No. I wasn't was sure. Was it Race to Witch Mountain? <laughs> I have seen that one. But yeah, I mean Was Tooth Fairy the one with Larry the Cable Guy? I think so. Was it there? Yeah. Oh, there there's Tooth there's two Tooth no, Fairies. No, 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 no. I was I was oh. giving you the piece. Yeah. That's actually yeah. a good one. So Charlie just literally put in the chat, what if RVD was never arrested for pot? Yeah. Double, double champ at the time, and in the span of a week, loses mm-hmm. the ECW title to Big Show and loses the WWE title to Edge? Etch? Etch. Like, Oof. it's crazy. Like, Because wow. I would have assumed RVD would have held the titles until... At least SummerSlam, maybe maybe a little longer because he won him in one night stand, and then that's, that's a good one. Yeah, we don't get RVD rolling papers. <laughs> maybe we do. Maybe we get them sooner. I'll say maybe right. we do. Um, what about? I just had it on the tip of my tongue, and it was <sighs> related to Rob Van Dam, but not really. Oh. What if WWE never made the rise and fall of ECW? Oh, the greatest. Shit. Yeah, that, WWE that made DVD, DVD ever. Yeah. Because of that, two one night stands, the bring back of the ECW brand, Paul Heyman gets brought back into the fold. They released like seven unreleased ECW DVDs, at least just, four. Yeah, they, they like blood. It wasn't blood sport, but it was like ECW's bloodiest brawls or blood something. Money. That no, wild. that was the Saudi shows. Never mind. Uh, they had they had unreleased one, two, three at least on DVD. Yeah, let me. WW. That's a great call. I mean, I think they just tapped into the nostalgia market and realized there was money there. Um. Charlie, wow, this is, I mean, a sad one for sure, but what if Reed Flair doesn't pass away? We probably don't have Charlotte. That's a great point. <laughs> wow, that's but a really get, good point. We get Reed. Sure. Sure, just the and impact like, of not having Charlotte. Right. right. But, but, I mean, but she's like, just Ashley that works at the bank. Right. Ashley's Ashley's oh. Ashley's working for Connie at First Family Mortgage. <laughs> right. <laughs> like. Yeah, I mean, that's. Hello, like, this is Ashley. One moment, please. <laughs> yeah, hi. Thank you for calling. Um, but like, dude, Reed, dude, dude. Reed in his own right was going to be like. He was going to be great. He was going to be great. That's a really good one. Damn. Um, a couple other ones I had written down. What if Vince McMahon didn't have like a worldwide vision? Like, you'd start working through the territories and buying talent and taking the WWE. The I mean, I think we're talking about Eastern Championship Wrestling on our podcast, yeah. right? We also like I mentioned this in the group chat, but it reminds me like, what if W? What if WrestleMania failed? Ooh, Re- WrestleMania to, was a huge. Then risk we're talking about Starcade. <laughs> you know? We're talking about Starcade. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. The other one I wrote down is, what if Vince McMahon was found guilty in 1994? Oh, the oh, that would have been wrong. Not just. Shit. For the WWE, but the stigma that's put on all of professional wrestling, are we even talking about televised wrestling 
today. Hello, welcome to Tennis Chat with Tim, Ryan, Matt, Mark, and Jim. You know, like, yeah. I would. I don't know what I'd be. I think actually this would be really good if we wanted to open up like a a three CT mailbag and have like people write us in their what if scenarios. Yeah, I think I think we can we love that. You know, or different. You know, different kind of. Yeah, what if? uh, But. Uh, a couple more I had written down. If Hogan never slammed Andre, you know what, what would the fallout of that been? If uh, <laughs> what if Andre just didn't play ball with Hogan, right? In, yeah, that, in that match, so Andre and was like, goes for the "Fuck slam you!" And just can't do it. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. if he Ooh. just gives him the big Not "fuck happening. you," Not no. doing it. <laughs> no. And Hogan <laughs> just looks. Oh, no, babe, get out! Get out! I almost like to see that better. That'd be good. Uh, what if, you know, like Hogan goes to lift him and he's just like, uh, what if HBK didn't hurt his back in the casket match? You know, because like you know, he he doesn't go away. To be fair, he would have found something because well. <laughs> he lost his smile before that mm-hmm. and he yep. got beat up by like sailors before that. And what if Stephanie many sunny days, <laughs> what if Stephanie McMahon didn't invent women's wrestling? All right, podcast over. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, the last one I have is what if CM Punk didn't leave when he left? I, I knew you would bring that up, you salty son that of a yours. bitch. You're a real gym. One of mine was like what if CM Punk had gotten his WrestleMania main event? Yeah, that that's a good one too. I it's mean, a the... much better way to put it, Matthew. <laughs> I mean, what it's... if CM Punk was treated fairly? Oh, stop it. What was he, 490 had, days as champion? And safe and accurate doctor care for his oh, arm. Oh, for Christ's Say sake. it the way it really happened, Jim. Okay, Uncle Yo, Dave. revisionist history bullshit. Yeah. Why didn't they just hand them out at the start of the pandemic? We'd already be over this He'd shit. He'd have been fine. <laughs> just, hey, here's his pack. Here's a Z-Pack. Drink some bleach. You'll be fine. It's totally fine. He's fine. He's literally and just in, fine. Inject this, inject this light into your blood. That'll be totally fine. Yeah. Um, did anybody have any other ones before before I, we? I I had the, a scenario. I was thinking if, uh, and I think somebody touched on it. If uh, Owen Hart were to go with Brett and the Bulldog and Jim Neidhart, imagine if they formed the Hart Foundation and feuded with the NWO, which was already in place, rather than having Brett join the NWO. Damn, now, that would have been fun. That's... The Hart Foundation was on fire back then. That's true, man. Like. If they if they all would have went with Brett over to WCW and been damn yeah I think, or even uh, even a Horseman feud against the Hart Foundation would have been phenomenal. It would have looked like uh, AEW does now with all the stables. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think that that would have been a great one. Um, the only other one I could think of is what if Carlito didn't spit in the face of people. Who didn't want oh, to be cool? Matt what wouldn't. would Matt do was at ringside? <laughs> he wouldn't end up clean the apple, that's for sure. Matt might be picking up banana peels. <laughs> um, or runs banana. Jason said, "What if CM Punk got his ice cream bar?" Um, <laughs> that's, that's Charlie insane. also I says, "I can't believe WWE never did anything with that." And then the ones they brought it's back fun. are hot garbage, total trash. They are so bad, as bad as banana runs. Ooh, that's bold. Are it's they like as bad as crinkle rice. fries, Ryan? Crinkle fries are bullshit. <laughs> crinkle fries. Fuck crinkle fries. Like I said, I've Probably had Arby's for bringing fries. them. Nobody. Waffle fries are delicious. Crinkle fries are shit. Why? They never cook right. They're soggy as hell. Why? I've had two great crinkle fries in my life. I have as well. You can buy the ones that are extra crispy. I don't want to. You... Why would you have to buy extra? They're French fries. Just fucking fry them. They should be crispy. They're fries. Put them in your air fryer. Fuck <sighs> your air fryer, Mark. Hey. Don't, Whoa. don't talk. Don't. Don't I love you, the air fryer. I ain't cooking crinkle fries in them. You should. Have an air fryer you like them. Flat. We make Shit. crinkle fries at home all the time. They're delicious. And your wife's going to divorce you for it. Whoa. My God. She's going to run off with the crinkle fries. <laughs> they are just That's awful. the final straw. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Crinkle fries. <laughs> I <laughs> talked to her. She's not happy, She's Jim. not happy about the crinkle fries. <laughs> she, is, she is unfulfilled because of your choice of crinkle fries. Uh, I mean, I would have guessed it based on my, uh, well, I would have guessed it was something else, but I guess it's the crinkle fries the is not code. It's the crinkle fries. Small fry. Small fry, big gym. <laughs> Your wife does not. Not enough crinkles. Potato. <laughs> Jesus. I tell you. Um, she thought you were a stud. You ended up being a spud. Just not good. Crinkle fries are trash. 
Why do you get me started on stupid foods I don't like? You are trash. Because then I look like a fucking weirdo. Yeah. Because you don't like crinkle fries. <laughs> oh, I'm a sausage guy. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like crinkle fries. No, I don't like crinkle fries. Banana I'll take a runs shot in the like... mouth. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, All right. I'm... Banana runs and crinkle fries. Oh, God. I couldn't think of a worse combination, Mark. <laughs> Recount Thursday is sponsored by Arena Eats. Log on to the website arenaeats.app, that's arenaeats.app, for the ultimate fan experience. At your favorite sports venue, Arena Eats mobile app, pre-order, express pickup, and in-seat delivery. How do you place your order? <laughs>